Welcome back to the Arizona Hydroponic Subterranean Greenhouse. Today we will be teaching you how to clone plants. I have been using Clonex clone solution for over 15 years. If it works, stick with it. Here I'm showing you one of my tomato plants that clearly has a growth shoot coming out of the side right there. I do not want this to be a bush. I want it to grow up to the ceiling and there is the main stock. So here's my clone. Use a clean razor blade every single time. No rusty blades. I like to cut at an angle so there's more surface area for the cloning solution to make contact with the, the new cut. There is your clone. Here's another variety of one of my tomato plants here. Again, there is your future clone sitting right here. There's the main stock with flowers ready to go. Again, make your incision with a clean razor blade at a bit of an angle. There you go, here's your clone, your exact genetic makeup of that plant right there. Here's your Clonex solution, just put it in a shot glass. This one's actually a measuring glass here dip it in the solution, allow that fresh cut to absorb the rooting hormone, and place it in what I use is rock wool. You can buy rock wool at any of your grow shops, and then the water solution here is diluted one teaspoon per quart, so that rock wool is absorbing rooting hormone and pH balanced six on the pH scale of water. Once you get better at it, just set up a shot glass, put all your clones in there and just keep cloning. Make a big party inside your shot glass so you don't have to do all the steps one by one. And of course, it's very important to cover up your cloning chamber to keep the humidity in there because there are no roots. Your plants will dry out, keep them moist. And one to two weeks later, depending on conditions, this is the result. It's actually so moist inside that chamber that the roots actually grew out above the rock wool. Here's some basil that I cloned. Again, moist enough that all the roots came out from above the rock wool on the stem. Here's some yellow pear tomatoes. I also have some black trifle tomatoes that I cloned. Either way, once you end up putting these in your hydroponic unit or soil unit, be careful not to over-fertilize. These are still very young plants. Be easy on your nutrients, please. And thank you very much for watching my video on the Arizona Hydroponic Subterranean Greenhouse. Please subscribe for more tips and updates.